Hey guys, Link264 and welcome back to Ocarina of Time. No, it's the night it's the it's the night after the day before. Um I got a little mad last night, that one too good when I was recording uh Where am I actually going? I actually have no idea. Uh what can I go and do? What can I I can go and do that I suppose. Right. Yeah, uh, I uh, got a little bit mad when I was recording that last episode when I was trying to uh, do the sidestep jump off of that big tower to get that heart base. I have got it now, I best just show you. Now I have three pieces of heart. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't show you that, but it's just, it's, it's the LP is curse because I did it the first time after I stopped recording. It's just typical, isn't it, really, I suppose. But that is that. Now, um, things to do in this video. I'm going to speak to Nobby. What would Sir? Yes, we've heard that already. Uh, right, yes, um, things to do in this video. I'm going to get some more heart pieces. I've got quite a few more heart pieces, actually. Um, gold Sculptors. Probably not so much at the moment. Um, but we do have quite a bit to do before we even venture into the next dungeon. Uh, there's something that I probably should have done already. Uh, yeah, so we're not going to be going into the next dungeon for quite some time. Or at least definitely not in this episode, possibly not even in the next episode. Depending how quickly and how much we get done. And as you can see, ah, Linkachu, wait up, buddy. Hoo -hoo. Head south from here to reach Lake Hylia's full rich waters. If you go west, you'll find Grudu Valley. There's a hideout of a gang of thieves on the other side of the valley. Well, you're free to go anywhere you want. Ho 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 ho. Do you want to hear what I said again? Hell no. No matter how hard it is, just don't get discouraged. Ho ho ho! Most pointless Cape Aragabora meeting ever. Well, thank you for that. I don't think there's anything in this tree, so maybe at night time. Something I should probably mention. Uh, trees and school tools and things. Some you can only find at night, some you can only find during the day. Uh, and that applies with rolling into trees. Sometimes there may be a skull tool there during the night. Sometimes there might one during the during the day. Sometimes there might not be one at all. Majority of the time. Because there are a lot of trees in this game. But as Kiborogbora said, we can go right or head whatever he said to go to Gerudo Valley. One of the most iconic pieces of music in this game. Does it turn from day to night when we're in Gerudo Valley? I'm sure it does. Yes, it is. You can see the sun setting. I want to grab this cuckoo. He's going to help us get two, two pieces of art. And the first one is over here. Behind this... Uh, I'd class that as a waterfall. So just keep going, keep going. Uh oh, I've got the camera stuck there. Oh god, that's not good. I can't even see where I'm going now. I bet I've already passed it, Oh no, I'm there. That's alright. Oh, fair enough. There you go. I got the piece of heart. You've completed another heart container. Your maximum life energy is increased. Well, that... yeah. And we do need the chicken again, but we can't actually do anything with that chicken at the moment. So it's time to head down this stream, valley, whatever it is. And enter another new area. Not just yet. Where we can get another one. Um, I can only think of one at the moment. Let's put some more heart pieces.
Lake Hylia. Now there are no flyby because you're not actually supposed to come in from here at this time. You're supposed to come in from somewhere else. But I'll show you that another time. I hear a Skulltula. Can I actually get any Skulltulas from here at the moment? I know I can't get that one that I've just heard. But as you can see, night and day cycles don't last very long. I think day might last a bit longer than night, but night's already been uh, taken care of. Now I'm going to try and get one thing at the moment. I'm not sure if I can get it just yet. I'm going to try and get another um, ocarina song. I am Panuru, the Scarecrow musical genius. I hear a song once and I never forget it, baby. Well, let's try that. Whoa, you have an ocarina. Hey, why don't you lay a tune on me with it, baby? Okay, well, uh... Well, not bad. I will remember it for you, anyway. I don't mean I can remember only eight notes, but let's just cut it right there for now, baby. That will be my Scarecrow song, I think. Or do I have to speak to this guy? My name is Pierre, the Wandering Scarecrow. Actually, I wish I could wander to look for soul-moving sounds, but I'm kind of stuck here. Well, let's see what he says. <laughs> I think we can just go on endlessly. Fantastic tune, it touches my heart. Oh, now we have to listen to it. If you come up with a nice song, come back and let me hear it. Well, I will do actually, because just in case that is my scarecrow song. Fantastic tune, it touches my heart. There we go. Now hopefully that will be our Scarecrow song. We've done it to both of them now. I don't think it'll work at the moment. Oh, it does. Okay, well that is our Scarecrow song. We can't do anything with that at the moment, but we've got it now. I don't think it comes up in the quest status screen. Uh, no, it won't do, will it? Sun song, Eponas and Zelda, Zelda's lullaby. <coughs> Well, let's go and get that heart piece. I wasn't actually expected to get my Scarecrow song one, but we've got it now, so that's not a bad thing. And now we enter the fishing hall. Or the fishing pond. Well, do you want to go fishing for 20 rupees? Yes. Oh no, you don't have a rumble pack. With a rumble pack, you can feel the vibrations of a fish on your hook. This time, no rumble for you. Okay, listen up. Walk up to the water's edge and press something to look at a fish. While looking at a fish, you can cast your line with something. Press something to break the line. When the lure drops into the water, you can wiggle it with something. If you're a novice, you can also use something. Reel in your lure with something. Hold down something and something to reel it in faster. If you feel a hit, press something and something down to set the hook. After that, reel it in with something. Do you understand? Mm, yes. I'm so generous, I'll let you fish for as long as you want. However, you can only keep one fish. The biggest fish ever caught here weighed six pounds. After you cast, you can change your view with something. Let's fish. Or oh, let's fish. Definitely. Right, now I'm not sure how long this is going to take me. Hopefully not too long. Uh, if it does take too long, I will cut. Because you don't need to see me catching every fish. Uh, but basically, we have to catch a big fish. Now, usually, I want that one over there. Maybe that one. Uh, reel with that. Yes. Okay. Getting used to the controls, that's not the one that I wanted, but fair enough, I'll take this anyway. Just to show you how a fish is caught. You get it on the line, keep hold of A and R, and wiggle, you can wiggle your uh, control, control stick like that. And that's how you catch a fish. 
Well, well, it's about two pounds. Do you want to keep it? Yeah, we might as well keep it. But we need to catch one that's bigger than six pounds. Uh, I'm actually going to move. I don't know if there's a best spot to do it from, but yeah. So what time are we at? We're currently at 10.30 something. Hmm. Oh, that's the one that I want, I think. Come on. I've got no tips for you here, guys. Just, uh, uh... It's either this one or that one in the top right, I think. Um, I've got no tips for you. It's basically... This is a lot of luck. If there are any tips that anyone can give me, that will be very helpful, because this is really down to luck. Sometimes I am quite lucky enough to get this first one. Uh, on the first try, or after a few tries. Well, well, it's about four pounds. Do you want to keep it? Yeah, I'll keep that one, even though it's not the biggest. Uh, so trying to find the fish. That's the hardest part. You don't have to lock onto a fish, but I find it's easier to keep the... Uh, I don't want you. I don't want you at all. Go away. Get off my line. Thank you. Hey, what happened? You lost it. Oh, I don't want you either. Oh, come here. It'll just be easier than me. Begin. Get over here. Come on. Come on, ugly. What's that? Three, I'd say. Oh, okay, fair enough. Well, no, I don't want that. That was, uh... Go on, let's see what's over there. Ah, oh, small fries. Get away, get away, get away. Get away, get away. Don't want no fish that's like that. Yeah, I think they are basically more towards the middle. No, I had it then. No, I had it then. No, no. I'll cast it over there. That's the one that I want. Come on. Yeah, and they're usually harder to uh, get on the line as well, as you'd imagine. No, oh, I think that's too far, too far away. Come on, don't lose interest. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, you little shit. Right, target that one again. That is the one that we need, ladies and gentlemen. No, no. That's the one that I want. No! Right, there, yes. So we found the fish, so I probably won't be cutting. That's not the fish, is it? Yes, that is the fish, I think. Yeah, it is. Come on. Come on, little guy. Well, big guy. Don't want no little guys. Just tease the fish a little bit, you know, you might. You might. No! No! Stupid fish. Ah, come on, then. See, we won't be in here too long yet. So, no, you get away. You get away. Come on, fishy, fishy. Fishy, fishy, fishy. No! Oh! Keeps losing interest and I don't know how to get it on. I need bait. Got any bait, fella? It helped me tremendously. Get some gummy worms or something like that. Probably be working better with real worms, wouldn't it? Like I say, I have absolutely no idea how to get it on the line. Oh, fishy, fishy, fishy! Yeah, I haven't been long enough to warrant a cut yet, so. Come on, fish. If you don't do it in the next... There you go! Now, oh, come on. 
Just keep all the vein art and hold backwards on the analog stick, all the control stick, analog stick. We can I'm going back a bit now, uh, I don't even think you, con uh, I don't even think you uh, class them as analog sticks anymore, do you? Come on, fishy, fishy. Come on. Come on. Nearly there. Come on. Come on. Come on, you yes! Wow, this is a real lunker. Let's see, it weighs 10 pounds. You want to keep it? Oh, no. Nah. Yes, of course I want to keep it. Right, now let's go back and get the guy to weigh our fish, even though he's already said it weighs 10 pounds. Yeah. <sighs> I'm glad that didn't actually take too long. It can take a hell of a lot longer than that, so I'm, I'm quite happy with that. You there. What do you want? Where my fish? Whoa! This fish is huge! It looks like a new record! It weighs at least 10 pounds! Seriously! Okay, here's your prize. Now we get heart piece number 5. Collect 4 pieces total? Yes, we've already seen that. Okay, now I want to quit. Come back when you get older. The fish will be bigger too. Well, maybe. Well... We'll have to see about that. Okay, so that's five heart pieces. There are quite a few more we can get. Can I do anything else here? Why can't I think? I could wait until night, I suppose. Yeah, I'll wait till night. I don't know why I'm doing this. But no, I don't have to wait till night. I've got the sun song, for God's sake. Okay, well, we can get one more school tour that I can think of. I'm going to try my hardest not to look at guides for the skull tools and heart pieces. The heart pieces, I should. The heart pieces are fine anyway. Don't need to look at guides for the heart pieces. The skull tools, I probably will have to look for a guide. Look at a guide, but I do know quite a lot of them. I know at least 80 of them. Right. Uh, what? What is the sun song? No. That's it. Now then. Whoa, what's this? What? Okay. Well, that's a fairy, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't know we could get a fairy. Okay. Well, hopefully... Is he over there? Is he over there? Yes, I think he is. Can't do anything with that at the moment, so I'm not going to... Yes, he's there. Right. We are going to go back to Castle Town. That is an Octorok. Bounce back the rocks, they spear you. I'll just demonstrate that for you. I don't think it'll hit. No, nope, it won't hit. Can you actually hit them with a the slingshot? I'm not sure. Yes, you can. There you go. Shall we bother? Why? And look who's here. With a disformed shadow. Oh, what are you doing? You've come a long way to get up here. You should look at the map subscreen sometimes. Linkachu, this is a beautiful lake full of pure, clear water. At the lake bottom, there is a water temple used to worship the water spirits. The Zoras are guardians of the temple. Hoo hoo, don't remind me. The Zoras come from Zora's domain in northeast Hyrule. An aquatic race, they are longtime allies of Hyrule's royal family. I heard that only the royal family of Hyrule can enter Zora's domain. Hoo hoo. I'm on my way back to the castle. If you want to come with me, hold on to my talents. Well, I do want to come with you actually, so let's uh, go underneath you. And we get a little uh, lift back up to outside the drawbridge. And you see one gold skull to there. We can't get that just yet. And 
for the Sun song. And it becomes daytime. Now there's a few secret rupees that you can get here. And I'm gonna get them, even though I probably don't need to. Because like I say, the majority of the game you will be running around with full rupees. But there's 20 rupees there. I think there's a few 20 rupees there. Uh, I'm just going to go get some rupees. Two minutes, guys. Okay. I've got a few more. I don't know why I did that, but yeah. I've got a few more rupees, I suppose. Right, now that we are... Ah, no. There's something I want to do. So, usually, you won't be able to get into Castletown with... Uh, when it's night time. But we can get into the town and make it night time ourselves. And there's lots of dogs. I want to get this dog to follow us. Come on, doggy. Come on. Come on, doggy. There's a good doggy. I always get this wrong. And this door. Please be right. Yes, this is right. And talk to this lady here. Richard! This is my little Richard. Thank you, thank you. I'll give this to you as a reward. And heart piece number six. Basically, a dog was missing and we had to collect it. But it could have been any of those dogs. No, it's just a good job that I knew which dog it was. Right. Uh, now, for the next pit, we'll need it to be daytime. The Sun Song is one of your best friends in this game, I must tell you. Especially for things like this. Right. Now we are needing to enter that Happy Mask shop. That the uh, guard outside, uh, well, the guard in Kakariko Village was on about. Hi! Welcome to the Happy Mask shop. We deal in masks that bring happiness to everyone. How would you like to be a happiness salesman? I'll lend you a mask. You sell the mask and bring the money back here. If you want to read the fine print, take a look at the sign right over there. After you've sold all the masks, you will become happy yourself. Have faith. Okay, well, Keaton mask. Price 10 rupees. Keaton stuff is hot, hot, hot. Do you want to borrow the Keaton mask? Yes. You borrowed a Keaton mask, wear it with something to show it off. You'll be a popular guy with this mask on. So basically what we do is we borrow the masks and we find someone to buy them off us. They give us the money and then we go back to the happy mask shop to pay the money back. Not difficult. Well, I suppose it's difficult finding the people if you don't know who they are. But we do know who wants this Keaton mask. So I'll meet you in Kakariko Village. Okay, so let's equip that mask that we've just got. And let's go to the guard. In fact, let's put the mask on. Yay! Uh, it's obviously a reference to Pikachu. Uh, well, at least I'm imagining it is, and I'm sure everyone else who's played Ocarina of Time is imagining that too. Even if you've never played Ocarina of Time and you're just seeing this for the first time, Look at the similarities. Come on. But the guard wanted this mask, so let's talk to him while we're, while we're wearing the mask. Wahahaha! <laughs> Do you think you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh, is that a key something character mask? I heard he's quite popular recently. He's my boy's favourite. That key something mask. If you don't mind, will you sell it to me? Well, hell yeah. My boy will be very happy with this. You really are Mr. Hero. Wahahaha! <laughs> you sold the 10 rupee mask for 15 rupees. You earned a little profit. Let's go to the happy mask shop and pay back the mask price of 10 rupees. Well, yeah, let's do that. Ah. Ah, 
there's not so much to talk about at the moment, but uh, yeah. So, we've not got so much done in this episode, to be quite honest. It's a quite a slow game, but I'll see you in Hyrule Castle Town. Back in Castle Town. Well, not quite, but yeah. So, let's head on back to the Happy Mask Shop and give back 10 rupees. So, we'll keep the 5 rupees to itself. You don't need to know about the 5 rupees. Oh, great, you sold it. Please pay back 10 rupees for the Keaton Mask now. Payment received. Okay, well. The next master, Skull Mask, price 20 rupees, a horned Skull Mask. You borrowed a Skull Mask, where it was something to show it off. You feel like a monster while you wear this mask. Now, Skull Mask, yes. I do know where to take this. Uh, can we do that yet, though? Yes, I do believe we can. Um. Uh, Best way to do this. I'll meet you in the Lost Woods. Okay, so now we're in the Lost Woods. Let's equip that skull mask. And no, let's not do that yet. Let's go this way. Ah, there's something we can actually do first. Forgot about this. If we equip our ocarina. We can play a little mini game. Pull out our ocarina. Follow along with our song on your ocarina. We'll lead you into it. So basically, just follow along with the uh, with the song that they play. Not difficult. And well, the first one's just for five. That was quite a nice session. As we're talking of our friendship, please take this. And we get one rupee. Do you want to play some more? Yes, but I'll skip to the end of them. Well, that was a very easy one. That was quite a nice session. As a token of our friendship, please take this. And we get... Five rupees. Do you want to play again? Yes. And that was quite a nice session. As a token of our friendship, please take this. Finally we get another heart piece. That was our seventh, I believe. So with one more, we get uh, our sixth heart container. Not too bad, so we've only done one dungeon. Well, that's one thing I love about this. There's so much to do in between dungeons. You don't have to just go straight to it. Ah, hey over there. Hoo hoo. Linkachu, good to see you again. Listen to this, hoot hoot. After going through the lost woods, you will come upon the sacred forest meadow. That is a sacred place where few people have ever walked. Shh. What's that? I can hear a mysterious tune. You should listen for that tune too. Hoo hoo hoo. Do you want to hear what I said again? No, you fucking idiot. If you are courageous, you will make it through the forest just fine. Just follow your ears and listen to the sounds coming from the forest. Hoot hoot. Well, yes, we'll do that. Now, how many times is that the way we've seen him so far? Basically, just, uh, you know, listen with your ears. So it's coming from here. And not from here. Nope, definitely not. So we go through here. And I do believe... Yep. 
No, nope, not that way. This way. Ah, yes, this way, and then that way. And now, right. And we enter the sacred forest meadow. Yeah. New enemy. Wolf horse, draw it close to you and watch its movement carefully. Attack it when it drops its guard. Possibly one of the easiest um, enemies in the game. Wait for it to attack you. And jump attack. Say one of the easiest, but most of the enemies in this game are easy. Now in here we have Deku uh, Scrubs. Are they? Mad Scrub. If you get close to it, it will hide in the grass. Basically the same as the ones that we saw in uh, the Great Deku Tree, except these ones won't give us information. I'm just going to take the hit because it's easier. Just run through. And I'll go this way. Aha! Ah, whatever. I'll let you live this time, boy. Aha! I got you. But that's not what I came here to do. I've been waiting for you, Lincoln Chu. This is the Sacred Forest Meadow. It's my secret place, I feel. This place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. If you play the ocarina here, you can talk with the spirits in the forest. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? Hell yeah! Okay, try to follow along with the melody I will play. Are you ready? Great! Great! Please don't forget this song. Do you promise? When you want to hear my voice, play Saria's song. You can talk with me any time. And we learn Saria's song. Well, that's all I came to do. Now I need to go back to the beginning of the forest. Well, maybe not the beginning of the forest. Well, I do need to go to the beginning of the forest, but I need to do something else first. Are you, why are you still running about? Can I hit you with this? Yes, I can. And what did you drop? Meh. Not too useful at the moment, I must say. But it's easier getting back than it is coming here. You can just climb on top and just run straight through. What does Nobby want? Impa said that the spiritual stone of fire is somewhere on Death Mountain. Did she know? Well, I'm glad you told me that because I forgot. Right. So, a quick way to exit the Lost Woods. Oh, God. Hoo-hoo. Did you learn an ocarina song from Saria? That melody seems to have some mysterious power. There may be some other mysterious songs like this that you can learn in Hyrule. If you hold the ocarina with something where a melody is necessary, a musical staff will appear. I recommend that you play a song you know. I also suggest that you play even when a score is not displayed. Just like this. <laughs> Do you want to hear what I said again? 
No! The melodies you have learned will be recorded on the quest status subscreen. You should memorize those melodies. Go away with you, you testicle. God, people say Nav is annoying. Kepora is even more annoying in my opinion. But, okay. Now, this is something I do need to learn. Because I'm not sure where... Oh god, now I am actually quite lost. Oh god. No, 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 no. It's after this one, isn't it? That goes outside. There we go, that's what I wanted. You there. I surrender in return I will say you decanate. Five pieces, twenty rupees. No way. What about your friend? What's he gonna do for me? All oh, right, you win in return. I'll sell you Decker Sticks, one for 15 rupees. Are you mad? Get out of my face. I thought one of them might have done something for me. Go over to where the butterflies are and we sink to the ground. What does this say? Forest stage. We are waiting to see your beautiful face win fabulous prizes. Okay, well, uh, let's stand here and put on a skull mask. Oh dear. This don't look promising. Oh, oh. oh god. Gang rip, gang rip. Oh no. Ah, ah, gang rip. Oh no, you there. What do I do? What do I do? Oh there. All of the young Deku scrub brothers agree. You look exactly like one of our sacred forest totems. As an offering from us, please accept these Deku sticks. They will also enhance your carrying skills. Abracadabra! Alakazam! And now we can pick up more Deku sticks. That's the final Deku stick upgrade, and now we can carry 30 of them. Let's take off the Deku. Uh, let's take off the skull mask and exit. Okay, now we do need to go to the uh, start of the Lost Woods and actually get rid of this Deku. Uh, I keep calling it Deku. Get rid of this uh, skull mask and also get one more heart container. Well, one more piece of heart to get a heart container. Uh, right, I need to go this way. Uh, it's going to be the shooting stuff. Yep, and then it's going to be this way. The Lost Woods really ain't that hard. Well, not anymore anyway. And you see this guy over here? Stand on this pedestal. Put on the skull mask. Or maybe you can't do that yet. Okay. Well, let's pull out our ocarina then. No, I don't want to play that. Um, come on, I've just learnt it. Oh, come on. We need to play Saria's song. Of course. You know Saria's song. We should be friends. Here, take this. And we got our fourth, well, our eighth piece of heart. So that means we have another heart container. Can I speak to you now? Put on the, uh, the skull mask and speak. Hee <laughs> hee, under that mask. Aren't you that cocky kid? Quite an unusual mask you have there. Hee <laughs> hee, I like it. It may make me look a little bit tougher. Hey, why don't you give it to me? Oh, okay. Yowza! I'm gonna wear this all the time. He just gave you 10 rupees for this 20 rupee mask. You lost money on that deal. Go back to the mask shop and pay 20 rupees for the mask. The difference will have to come out of your pocket. 
Well, I can part with 10 rupees. Heck, it's only really parting with 5 rupees if you think about it, because we got 5 rupees extra from the guard. But, I will see you in Castletown. Welcome back, guys. Now, let's just go back and give back the 20 rupees that we owe. <clears throat> oh, great, you sold it! Please pay me back 20 rupees for the skull mask now. Payment received! Well, the spooky mask is next, a sad wooden mask. You borrowed a spooky mask, where it was something to show it off. You can scare many people with this mask. Well, let's equip it, and we'll do that next time, guys. On Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, I'm Linker264, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.